G'day guys, it's Ben again here to bring another video. Today we're talking Viking leg wraps. Actually these things date right through from the sort of Roman period as the Roman Empire expanded into uh, Gaul and the eastern sort of provinces and they go right through until the early, earlier part of the 20th century with soldiers of the Commonwealth wearing them as putties and so on. Uh, so they apply to the whole group Oh, many many different cultures and tribes that uh, date across that period. Okay, Ronio, a couple of quick points first. Number one is uh, the length. You're looking for uh, leg wraps that are about three to four meters in length and about four inches in width, roughly 12 or so centimeters. Uh, ideally, you're looking for a twill weave. That's not essential. Okay, now it's starting to rain. But we'll see how we go. All right, let's keep it nice and short. Uh, I wasn't able to get hold of a twill today. I'm just simply using a very basic um, wool. Righto, so uh, you first want to start with this wrapped like a bandage. So sort of, I would know that as a crepe bandage. I think the Americans and Canadians uh, call them a, uh, an ace bandage. Am I correct? Leave a comment below. Alright, so we're going to roll this up nice and tight. So there are many different ways that you can do this. Uh, it does not just one particular way. It's going to be different to what works for you. Uh, I prefer with the roll of the bandage on the upper side. I find it much easier to roll. Different people will say different things. That's okay. There's a different, a bunch of different techniques with the actual applying of the leg wraps, and that's okay. Uh, again, whatever works for you is whatever works for you. I realise there's some different techniques, and we might look at that a bit more in detail in a few other videos. However, uh, for today, with your uh, breeches, I like to keep them fairly tight. So you want to uh, blouse them. I guess is the right term. Okay, um, now wrapping from here, I realize that's tempting. It's not going to work because it's not going to secure this in place. So I like to start with a, a wrap like so. Alright, once I've got that, that's reasonably secure. Now if you can go with a twill wool, you'll find that it'll hold in place better. As it stands though, uh, and this not being a twill, um, this is staying in place reasonably well. Now I realize so I like to keep rough concentric circles as they go up the leg you need to be across the thicker area of the calf muscle I've, some people will tell you to use like a clasp or a brooch to hold these in place you can do that I don't find it necessary now the next thing is when we come to tying that in apply a small fold and then tuck it in underneath the next one and there you pretty much have it if you go above, what I tend to find is that uh, as the leg flexes, all right, the material from the, the breeches, the trousers, is going to pull upwards slightly and eventually this will come un undone, which is, is really annoying and frustrating. So if you go in underneath, then the fabric from the the wool acts against itself in a similar way to Velcro. And there we pretty much have uh, how to apply Viking leg wraps. Real simple, real easy. Um, there's no secret to it. Uh, it's, it's just very, um, it's just a simple technique really. And once you've got it, you've got it. So there we go. Alrighty guys. Um, Hope that's helped you. 
Uh, please like, subscribe and share. I'll catch you in my next video.